Is it called silicon? Grout? Not grout. <laughs> I do not know. Yay! Yay! Here we go. Bingo. And somebody doesn't like dealing with it either, so then I always have to deal with it. <laughs> I'm frustrated. I have my period, and it's not a good time to deal with things like this. Today we have got a busy day, but Kurt and I were chatting yesterday and we were like, we have been so slack the last couple of weeks. We haven't been that bad, but we just haven't been that good. <laughs> so we gave ourselves a big giant kick up the butt yesterday and we were like, that's it. We're gonna go walking every day again and just try to clean up our eating a bit. Um, like I said, we haven't been terrible, just been eating heaps of takeaway, been catching up with heaps of family and friends and just, um, yeah, we hit the point yesterday where we were like, all right, we're over it. Hey, hon. Time to clean up our eating, start exercising more. So this morning, I got up super early, got dressed and ready before the kids woke up so we can race out for a walk before we have to come back to run out for an appointment. What are you doing, some work? Appointment. Yeah. So yeah, first off this morning, we have got an appointment, which I don't know if I should talk about. It's a very touchy Just subject. Don't say anything. I think it's a yeah, I know, very true. So every Tuesday, Kurt's mum comes over and watches the kids, but we've kind of like jam-packed this Tuesday. So first up this morning, we have got our COVID vaccine. No one say anything, no one come for me. You do what works for you. This is what we want to do. Um, so I'm so excited to be getting that. And then we have got power finally coming on over at the shop today. So we're going to be there for them to turn the power on. We have got the curtain people turning up to measure everything up and hopefully give us a quote within the next few days. We went and saw um, Telstra about Wi-Fi and things like that yesterday. So that's going to be getting hooked up on Thursday. And then also Thursday, um, we're having somebody come out to have a look at painting the outside of the shop as well. So it's all kind of happening this week. And um, there's also a lot of other things that we need to kind of um, plan and sort out behind the scenes too. We actually purchased and got everything already happening with our till and then I got an email saying like they've reimbursed us and the till's not turning up so just got to make some phone calls. Um, but anyways, I thought I'd take you guys along with the process with us, see where the day brings us and I'm probably going to be kind of just vlogging back and forth a bit this whole week so I can kind of keep you guys up to date on what is going on with everything to do with the reno. But it is six o'clock. Riggy girl should probably be awake any minute now so I better get the other two down here dressed and ready to go. Miller and Lincoln. Ready for a walk? No, five more minutes. What? Five more minutes? Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Okay, guys, come down in literally five minutes, okay? Promise? I'll yell out and you guys have to come down, okay? Okay. All right. Deal. Hi. 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 Hello, darling. How are you? This morning. Let's change your nappy. Let's change your nappy. <laughs> Where your nappy's going? Where your nappy's going? Yay! Yay! Hey. What do you do when you say yay? What do you do? Maggie? I think the kitty wants some magpie. Hey, you want some magpie? Wow. Well guys, off we go. We're actually going to go into the shop first because we've got a car full of bits and pieces. I said to Kurt, I feel like what we should do is just keep everything like as it comes to the house and needs to go into the shop, just put it straight into the shop. So it's there and we're not like looking for things or leaving things behind. So we're like leaving all boxes at the front door that each day we go into the shop, we bring it up there with us. Um, so we are going to go bring those bits and pieces up there now. And then after the Wi-Fi is hooked up on Thursday too, we're probably going to nearly start moving in there for the office. Yeah, we're just, I just want to... So we can, because this is a hard part right now. We're like half working out of the house and we're half working up there. I just want the whole wall curtain situation because 
it's so hectic to see in there. We're gonna we have security cameras. Yeah, we're the next security cameras come. Yeah, I suppose. We have security. The lights off at night too. Double double padlock security. We've got the whole lot there. Anyone tries to do anything, we're gonna catch them on camera. Yeah, true. Yeah, so I think the main thing that I wanna kinda of do is once this Wi-Fi goes in, just try to move everything up to the shop because I feel like at the moment, like we're still running the business from home. So like we have Amber turning up today, our employee, and she's like working from home and then we're running back and forth. So I, I feel like once we get everything office-wise up there, it's gonna be so much easier. And then as well as things turn up for the shop front, we can just like start doing them straight away rather than having to like, you know what I mean? It's gonna be frustrating having to get like the flat packs from our house, bring them up there, then run back and then once we get in there, you're gonna be like frantically trying to put things together. But if we're up there and it's a bit of a quieter day, yeah. we can just start plotting and getting things done. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna make a phone call now to our people that we're using the POS system for and see what's going on and why my order was reimbursed. Well, guys, this is such a pain in the bum. Honestly, setting up all this stuff, hey, like nothing's ever easy. Yeah, like that. Oh. It's hard and it's not. Like it's just like a mental F. And then there's like never any phone call, like anyone to phone to help you work a situation out. I've just been sitting doing this the whole time and now we're literally due for our appointment right now. So we're gonna run in and go get that done. And you will do it, you always end up working. I will do it, but it's just frustrating. And Kurt, when we get back there today, I haven't told you guys this yet either, but he's actually doing the skirting boards. I'm frustrated. I have my period and it's not a good time to deal with things like this. And somebody doesn't like dealing with it either, so then I always have to deal with it. <laughs> I'll do the skirting boards and you can do this. Can you do the skirting boards? Yeah, I'll figure it out. Just like you said about this, you'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sometimes I just wish you knew how difficult these things are to organize. Yeah, that's what I do, because I can't even... You know, so really frustrating. Alright guys, we're all done. We're done, done. Now we're going to eat, and then we're going to work. That's it. Where are we going to go? We're just going to... Tweed City? Tweed City, and then just get something. Okay, Try so we're going to go into Tweed City, have a little look around, see what our heart desires. <laughs> Markers. Marcus, no, please no. <laughs> uh, don't ask me twice. I'll definitely get a bacon and egg McMuffin. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. I wouldn't. Or would I? And I'm going to have a little look on my phone, on my list, because I've got a million lists everywhere to see if there's anything else we're actually needing while we're in there for the shop in Kmart. Yeah. All right, let's do this thing. doesn't want to go to Kmart. We're just going to... We're going to go and pull that carpet out. We're not <laughs> knocking the pot over. Like, it's just like so much rubbish to come out of it. Okay. We got some takeaway. I got the Frida Duo. Kurt got the mushroom omelette. Mm. Kurt doesn't want to go to Kmart, so we're not going to do oh, Kmart yeah. today. It's no, it's okay. We'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll do Kmart. <laughs> we'll do good. Kmart. We'll do Kmart when everything else is happening. That was so expensive. I can't believe how expensive oh, Coffee Club is. Yeah. I haven't been here for ages. So active, though. Anyway, next time we'll make sure we pack out. Well, it's hard because at the moment we don't even have a kettle up there or power. I was saying to Kurt, we should like bring our oats and just like boil the kettle and pour the water in, but we haven't got power yet, haven't got a kettle yet. So once we get all those things in there and get our, ourselves in there, it'll be heaps easier. So windy out there. Oh, it was warm. Look at this. Look at mine, the salmon on the side. Look at this. Yeah. That's a freaking pizza. This is what we're doing on the edges. We're just popping a board there like this. Just gonna make it look heaps neater and tie everything in better. But the glue works well so far. Yeah, so far, but this will hold this down too. I just need to see now. Yeah, gonna, if this screws in good, I'll be that happy. We um, also have got to get rid of all this. So I think what we're gonna do, my plan was um, there's a truck place just around the corner there to hire a truck and then chuck all the rubbish in it, dump all the rubbish, like go to the dump and then straight after we dump the rubbish, then go to the house, get all of the stock, get everything we need and bring it back here, which I think is gonna work out best because then at least it's kind of just getting everything done. And plus we're gonna keep adding to the rubbish. Like that's gonna continue happening. Yeah, then at least if we've got little boxes, we can be like, hey, this needs to go. Yeah. Difference. What's going on? 
what's going on? Kurt just started talking on the phone and he's like going, what the hell, well, uh, what's no, going on? Locked down again. We're in lockdown again? So we're going to be home by three so mum can get to the shop so then Lynn can get home because everything's locked out from five o'clock. The border as well? Everything. <gasps> We've got Regan's appointment on Friday too. <laughs> we're just doing this. I'm gonna cry. I'm actually gonna have a mental breakdown. At least they're coming today. If they weren't coming today because lockdown happens from five. Maybe we'll be doing a bit more DIY. Probably gonna be doing a bit more DIY. <laughs> All you can literally do is laugh. At least we've like smashed it this week. We've got so much stuff done. So skirting's pretty well done, Kurt. I've got to do my little cover up. And I want to see how it works too. Oh, I don't want to paint it all. Oh yeah, like we're just doing it over there. Screws. Can you use a stick up though so you can pull it off if it does it back? Yeah, but then I don't, I'm just going to get a stick it. Just like that right there, I did the half one there. I reckon it'll be right. I'll go do the back ones first. Yeah. So now this is just our paint we have from home. Kurt's actually painting these tiles white. A bit of paint action. A bit of paint action. And I feel like this is going to actually make a big difference too. Yeah. yeah. So at the moment that's in the entryway. Ooh, looks good, Curdy. Looks so much better, but. Yeah, the brown. Who the brown tops? <laughs> Isn't it insane, though? I always say this. How much of a difference it makes by like painting the walls and changing the floors? Like, it's major. Like, flashback to how this looked when we first came up. It looks so much brighter. Like, I can't believe how much more bright and light and open it looks. Nice work, hon. What are you doing now? Are you covering up? No, I'm just covering the edges. Oh, it kind of does just blend in. Keep on making the same mistake. I always let you back in. When I begin to get myself together again, you are back once more like everything's the same. I try to build my wall. Guys, one thing's led to another. We've started actually um, doing the, is it called silicon? Grout, not grout, <laughs> I do not know. <laughs> we've started doing the silicon along the edge of the um, skirting boards and we've only got one tube. So I am going to run down to Bunnings now, another day, another Bunnings trip. I swear we go there like three times a day at the moment. But I'm gonna go race in and go grab some more of it because we do not have enough and then and head home to the kids. What is the best way to go? <laughs> Maybe I go this way? Let's go this way. Ah, I get so stressed driving in places that I don't really know. Does anyone else get like that? Um, anyways, the curtain lady just came as well. She was so lovely and so good. Um, and it seems like it's gonna be a really quick turnaround, which is awesome. The only thing that might hold it up they said is that they get like the rails from over the border and now that the border's closed and we're in lockdown it might be a little bit longer lockdown's only for seven days so it's just playing by ear and i guess seeing what happens and obviously if there's more cases but seems like it shouldn't be too long which is so good she said that she'll get back to us either this afternoon or tomorrow with a quote and like a rough timeline which is awesome um and yeah we picked out the curtains we're basically going like a sheer curtain on the front and then we're going to do block out but she said to us we don't really need to do block out we can just do like a thick sheer and you won't be able to see through the curtain i said as long as you can't see through it i'm happy because at the back is going to be messy <laughs> but yeah, we've got so much done today. It's been so productive. Oh my gosh, guys. I've literally never seen the shops so busy in my entire life. And I just flew to park, which I'm stoked about because I don't know about you guys, but I never, ever, ever score a park. And I just scored one. Here we go. Bingo. White. All right, I got it. I'll tell you what, I've never seen Bunnings so busy in my whole life. I think it's because they said we're going to lockdown. Everyone's just like frantically coming to Bunnings to get things for them to do for the next week. But we got it. 
I was so stuck for so long to try to find the right thing, but I, I got it. I managed to find it. It took me a little nice. while. She was very good, the lady. I was like, I'm just helping my partner. I don't really know what I need. She's like, yeah, you're gonna need these, sweetie. I was like, thank you. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do the outside. Yeah? Because look. Yeah. See what's behind the sign? Metal roof. See that sign up there? I need you to come out so I can check. Okay, I'll come out. Oh, the see, that, in it. see that small, small sign there with the metal around it? Yeah. That's what's behind there. That's screwed on. Oh, so you just unscrew it. I'm gonna paint down here and paint that. Just gonna do a line there. Yeah. Paint that and then paint that. What, just do a white and yeah. then. Can you take me to have a look at the back of the shop? Like, can we go for a little walk around? Yeah. How is that good? So much better. Um, yeah, that looks so much better. Yeah, that looks so much better. So neat. I want to do that, eh? Yeah? Take it down. Tell me, you're going to need a few people, or you don't know how heavy it's going to be. No, I think your dad and my dad. Yeah. I'm going to have a little look around the back of the shop. Yeah. Oh, guys, the back of the shop, I've literally just got to unscrew it. Nice, Kurt's gonna be stoked. Sweet. You're gonna be a happy man. It's like half the size and it's just like a little unscrew job. So you take it off from Benna? Mm. Well guys, my plan was to film the whole week but instead I just did an entire vlog today. But it's probably a good thing because I don't really know if much is gonna happen this week anyway going into lockdown. Hopefully next week we'll be productive and we'll be pulling the sign down and we need to get a spark in. Kurt and I just had a chat and a look around like the PowerPoints and that. We need to get a spark in. We should ask them, Kurt, how much it would cost to like get two nice pendants put in over the change rooms. Yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.